You are watching Dr. Microbiologist. Today we will be covering the structure of viruses. Stay tuned. Envelopes are phospholipid bilayer which is present outside the capsid. They are acquired from the host cell when they have assembled in the cell while they bud or move out of the cell. Depending on the presence or absence of the envelope in the virus, they are divided. The viruses are divided into a non-envelope virus that is naked virus or an envelope virus. Now one thing we need to keep in mind is that the envelope is made up of phospholipid bilayer which is the same thing the plasma membrane of a living cell is made up of. So what we can summarize from here is that when a virus infects a living cell of, an hum of a human body then the immune system gets confused between a living cell and a virus because both have the same phospholipid bilayer as its outer membrane. Also the envelope helps the virus to protect its genetic material. The genetic material is either DNA or RNA and never both in a virus only RNA is present or DNA is present but the bo but both are not present at the same time. The structure you are seeing is the fluid mosaic model. It was proposed by Singer and Nicholson. It proposes that the membranes are lipid bilayers. That means there will be two layers of phospholipid within which the proteins will float. Now there are different types of protein some of which are integral protein, some of which are peripheral membrane protein. You will read more about this or learn more about this in the later videos and it requires a separate video to explain this whole fluid mosaic model. Now it was hugely based on the studies of eukaryotic and bacterial membranes and was established using a variety of experimental approaches including transmission electron microscopy and atomic force microscopy. Then capsids. Capsids have two important roles. In some cases they determine the shape of the virus. In some other cases they help in the attachment of the virus to the host, host cell. Now capsids are made up of protein subunits. These are called capsomeres. In some viruses, capsomeres are composed of the same protein, whereas in other viruses, they are composed of different proteins. Now, also viruses are divided or categorized on the basis of the presence of the protein, which is composing the capsid. Then, moving on to the nucleic, nucleic acids. The genetic material of the virus is either DNA or RNA and never both as already I have mentioned. The viral nucleic acid can be double stranded, single stranded, linear, circular or segmented. Double stranded, you know the structure, it is a normal structure like a DNA. Then single stranded, it's just like a thread. Linear means it's like a straight line. Circular means it will be it will be a circle. The there will be the front and the end will be joined together. Segmented means they are divided into different segments. Viruses use their genetic material to replicate themselves in host cells. This results in the disruption of the host cellular activities or the death of the host. Moving on to spikes. Depending on the virus, they are may or may not have projections from the envelope called spikes. Also, viruses like, like the previous cases, viruses may or may not have spikes. Now, what are spikes? These are glycoproteins which help the virus to attach to the receptor site on the susceptible host cells so that it could initiate the infection. In some viruses, the presence of spikes causes various red blood cells in the host cells to clump, a property also known as 
hemagglutinate coronavirus causes hemagglutination so if you want videos in any topic related to envelope or capsid nucleic acid spikes please let me know in the comment section thank you for listening and hope you have a great day ahead